Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. One storm system is going to be scooting out later tonight into tomorrow morning. We're going to have some colder air moving in behind this system and we'll also be dealing with some very chilly temperatures, not only east of the Cascades, but especially west of the Cascades into the coastal areas. Looks like our coldest night will be Friday night to Saturday morning. Anyway, tonight we have a chance for a few showers for the coast, otherwise just chilly temperatures. A frost advisory is in effect from 10 p.m. tonight to 8 a.m. Friday for the Curry County coast and points northward. You can see the lows in the 30s to around 40. Now moving inland, a freeze warning is in effect for Powers, Myrtle Point, and the Coquille Valley with temperatures between about 27 and 34 by Friday morning. We have a slight chance for morning showers, otherwise becoming partly to mostly sunny as we move inland for the West Valleys. Low temperatures will generally be in the 20s and 30s. There's a slight chance for a few showers overnight. Later tonight into early tomorrow morning, it's a possibility we could see some rain or possibly even wet snow showers. Little or no snow accumulation expected. Maybe some patchy morning fog, then becoming partly to mostly sunny on Friday. 32 and 40, the numbers there for Medford. East of the Cascades, temperatures will be chilly in the teens and 20s. And highs tomorrow generally in the 20s and 30s. Overnight tonight, there's a possibility for a few rain or snow showers, turning to mainly scattered snow showers overnight and a few leftover snow showers possible in the morning, otherwise becoming partly to mostly sunny. Now down towards Modoc County there in California and also in southern parts of Lake County, there is the potential for some not only rain tonight, but turning over to snow and anywhere from a trace to possibly an inch or two of snow will be possible tonight into tomorrow morning. Check out these chilly temperatures though in the seven day. These are lows for the weekend, 24 that Saturday morning, Rogue Valley, also 24 for Sunday morning. That 27 is for Monday morning. Again, there's a slight chance for maybe a few morning rain or snow showers Friday, then more sunshine developing. We may start out with some fog, not only Friday morning, but also on Saturday morning, then more sunshine. Another chance for rain on Tuesday into Tuesday night and a slight chance on Thursday. Klamath Basin, I'm giving you a goose egg for Saturday morning at zero. At the airport in Klamath Falls, 27 for the high on Saturday with more sunshine for the weekend, but it's going to be chilly. Slight chance for morning snow showers on Friday, more sunshine developing. Another system moving in on Tuesday with a chance for late day rain and a slight chance for snow showers Wednesday and Thursday. Mount Shasta City, slight chance for a few morning rain or snow showers Friday, then more sunshine. And for the weekend, we do have sunshine, but it's going to be chilly with highs in the 30s, lows in the teens and into the 20s next week. A chance for late day rain Tuesday, slight chance for rain on Wednesday and a slight chance for rain or snow showers Thursday. That 32 for the coast is for Saturday morning where we're going to have a chance for a freeze even along the coast late Friday night into Saturday morning. It's a frost advisory right now for Thursday night into Friday morning. Your highs will generally be in the cool 40s and 50s and lows in the 30s and 40s. Next chance for rain moving in, especially Monday night, Tuesday, and a chance on Wednesday, also a chance on Thursday.